Mic checker, chicka chicka chicka. It's not some baby, uh, yeah, a one time baby, uh, what up for your mind baby, uh, yeah, we gon' shine baby, uh, and what we do we gon' grind baby, uh, yeah, what in the sea? It's another episode, so sold, a swingers after dark, and this is your host, not some baby. Here we go, uh, what's good family? You know, sometimes it's not really your aim, it's your target, you understand me? And I say that to say, you know, it's a lot of dudes, you know, they target the women who don't like them, who don't dig them, who don't fuck with them, and you know, when they get rejected left and right, or even yourself, when you get rejected left and right, it kind of fucks up your psyche. You know what I'm saying? It kind of fucks up your esteem. Now you have low self-esteem because you talking to chicks who are not giving you the time of day. And I had to learn that. You feel me? I had to learn to love those who love me. Now, that's not me saying that I'm a fuck every chick who gives me play. You know what I'm saying? That's not saying that I'm going to give my phone number or talk to this chick. Because she likes me, I mean, she got to be attractive to me, first and foremost. What I'm saying is that, you know, don't be like a cat chasing its tail. You're not going anywhere. She's not giving you signs. She's not giving you rhythm. She's not giving you play. You understand me? And then you getting rejected left and right. You got low self-esteem. And then you see yourself as a piece of shit because you see yourself through the eyes of women who don't find you attractive. You understand me? And it's crazy, it's bugged out that you have dudes, they don't get it. They don't get the hint. They don't get the point. You feel me? Listen, there's somebody for everybody. You understand me? There's somebody for everybody. I've seen so-called ugly dudes, bag dimes, model type chicks. You understand me? They have that swag. They have that charisma. They have that pizzazz. You understand me? And it's like, when you go on these social media sites, it's like, do not beg a woman for your attention because she's not going to respect you, especially when she don't like you to begin with. You understand me? It's like, you can show interest, but it has to be reciprocated. You understand me? It has to be reciprocated. She has to show you signs that she really feeling you. She likes you. You understand me? Because it's like the worst thing you could do is treat a random chick like a celebrity just for her to treat you like a fucking fan. You understand me? It's like you don't want to treat a woman like a celebrity. Then you wonder why she has no respect for you. She's treating you like a creep, like a pervert, like a fucking fan. And then you wonder why these chicks be like, don't hit up my inbox. Don't call me in the inbox. Don't call me through the chat. Don't inbox me. Don't DM me. It's like they have that delusions of grandeur because you thirsty motherfuckers are feeding their ego. You feel me? Y'all feeding your, you feeding the ego to the point where they think they the shit when they really ain't shit. And like social media is an ego boost for a lot of chicks. And it's because of you motherfuckers. You understand me? It's like, love those who love you. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say that throughout the show, throughout the podcast, throughout the episode so you can get the point. You understand me? And then you thinking that you're ugly. You have no charm. No charisma, but you're talking to women who don't want to fuck with you. So, of course, you're going to see yourself in a negative light. But you got to realize that, you know, it's all about working on yourself. You shouldn't be chasing women anyway. You should be chasing your vision, the vision that you have in your mind to fulfill whatever dream that you have. The women come with the shit. The women are a bright product. Of success. Women are the byproduct of success. You shouldn't have time to worry about if this bra like you anyway. You should have time for yourself and building your goals. 
at creating plans to achieve those goals. Women are always going to be there, man. You understand me? You crying, soaking, walking around the depressed because some random broad who's in horrible situations who ain't shit. Just because she doesn't like you. She's, she's not having anything going for herself. But because you putting this chick on a pedestal when you don't know the broad, you down in the dumps. You don't know whether you're coming or going. You don't see the value in yourself. You understand me? But you got to realize that in any social setting, in any social setting, it's all about your worth. You feel me? It's, it's all about your worth. And it's about working on yourself. Do you have a, a talent? Do you have a skill? You know, do you have a certain style about yourself? And if you have something that could uh, attract women, then you wouldn't have to chase. You feel me? You wouldn't have to chase. They will come to you. Because you got to realize that, you know, if you don't show value within yourself, how do you expect women to see the value within you? So you have to work on yourself. You understand me? If you're skinny, hit the gym for muscle mass. If you're fat, if you feel like that you can't get women whether you're skinny or fat, then work on that. If you feel like you're broke, work on that. Get a job. Stack your chips. You understand me? There's nothing wrong with wearing, like going to Target or Walmart and getting a bunch of t-shirts. Until you stack your paper to get the clothes that you want to wear. There's nothing wrong with riding the bus or the train. Because you're working towards an end game. It gets greater later. You're working towards the end game. You're not working towards the now. You're working towards the later. If you're skinny, hit the gym. Pump some iron. If you're fat, get on the fucking treadmill. You know? Get on the treadmill. Watch your diet. Do fucking calisthenics. Cardio, whatever the case may be. If you have no style, look in a fucking book. Like GQ or something. Get some ideas. If you have no charm or charisma, talk to random women to see what works and what doesn't work. Like practice. Go out some. Go out the fucking house. Instead of playing fucking anime, jerking off to anime. You know, playing fucking Call of Duty. The whole time, the whole damn day, playing Madden, go outside, go to bars, lounges, go to gyms. You know what I'm saying? Talk to women. Shoot your shot. It's like practice. To the point, like practice to the point where the practice is the game. And the game becomes the practice. Because you're so used to it, it's so second nature that it doesn't even matter. You understand me? So it's about working on yourself and loving those who love you. You feel me? It's about loving those who love you. Because, you know, you have to value your manhood first. It's not all about women. Women are the spoils of war. It's about working on yourself first. You know, read some books, get some knowledge, get something to talk about. Bring something interesting to talk about when you approach this woman. Show her that you got some smarts. If you think that you don't know how to fight, go to a boxing class or something. Learn self-defense. Like, when you know how to fight, that boosts your confidence. Real talk, like, learn a martial art or something. Learn how to box, Tai Chi. You feel me? Aikido, Jiu-Jitsu, whatever the case may be. Learn how to fight. Work on your weakness so your weakness could become a strength. You feel me? Because life is about growth and development and self-improvement every day that you wake up. You understand me? You don't stop growing. If you stop growing, then you're dead. So, you know, it's not you. It's your target. I'm going to say that again. It's not you. It's the target. It's not your aim. It's the target. You're trying to holler at chicks who don't want you. Instead of hollering at chicks who give you the time of day. Because a lot of dudes be like, you know, women don't approach me even when I don't chase them. Look, when I say don't chase women, that means, you know, you may talk to a woman and, you know, 
She doesn't show interest. If a woman doesn't show interest, leave her the fuck alone. Get the hint. But if she shows interest, then don't chase after her. You know, hit her up every now and then. Give her attention, just not too much attention, to the point where she forgets your ass. But when you talk to her, make some plans. Be a man of action. Women want men of action, men of results, men that have results. Set up a date or something if you got some money, but if you're broke and you're fucked up and you don't know where your next meal is going to come, work on yourself because women are going to come with it. Chase the money or chase, don't, wait, let me back up. Don't chase the money. Chase your, your vision. The money comes with the vision and when the money comes, the women are going to come. That's not saying that you should, you know, blow your money on any woman who, you know, gives you some play or give you some pussy. They're just saying that you become valuable in her eyes, in their eyes. Your status grows. Especially when you're respected in your community. When you're respected in your community, you're a man of resources and a man of principle and purpose. Women are going to flock to you to the point where you're going to have to beat them off you because it's just too much. So all I'm saying is, you know, fellas, work on yourself. Women are going to come. Work on yourself. Work on your, your physique. Work on your physical. Work on your mental, your spiritual. Your finances, economics, work on yourself first. It's all about you first. You got to be selfish when it comes to working on you. Then when you build yourself up from the ground up, women are going to notice that because they're going to see the glow from within. They're going to see your confidence. They're going to see your stride. They're going to see your charm. They know that you work hard to get to the point where you're at now. And they're going to throw the pussy at you like it's going out of style. And that's where you want to be in life. You dig? And on that note, this has been another episode of Smuggers After Dark, and this is your host, not some, baby. Uh. And we gonna go out like this, man. Uh. So here we go. What? So here we go. Chicka chicka. Uh. So here we go. What? Uh. Yeah. And I'm out.